This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be yet another World Chalice combo tutorial video, this time focusing again on more of the Rescue Rabbit combos that the deck has access to in the new format with Rescue Rabbit at 3, because, you know, it being a 3 means that you're reasonably going to be able to expect to open with the card a reasonable amount of time, so understanding the weird and sort of non-conventional combo sequences that it implores the use of is definitely something that you might want to uh, know about in a way, because, I mean, I know I sort of racked my brain about s around, like, certain combo, uh, combo uh, strings going into this, because none of them are really that conventional when you compare them to, like, your Gofu combos and your Venus combos and stuff like that, because you're just dealing with less cards in general and utilizing basically subpar normal summons, but still a very strong normal summon in general. But, so for this video, what I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to be showing you the combo of Rescue Rabbit plus Lee the World Chalice Fairy, as well as two extensions and expanded versions of that combo to give you three combos in total. But the basic combo I'm going to be showing you is Rescue Rabbit plus Lee, and what it ends you with is it ends you with a plus three card advantage, drawing two off an Ingirsu, and you end up with three monsters on board and two cards drawn off Ningirsu with just these two cards. Now, the reason I'm showing this is because, like I said, it's kind of a weird combo sequence, honestly. Uh, it's not something that I would consider conventional by any means because of how, like, you perform certain steps that are kind of, like, weird and wild compared to all the other combos. But, anyway, just so that this video doesn't get too long, I'm just going to go ahead and start and stop rambling. So, first step is summon Rescue Rabbit, obviously, and use its effect to banish and summon any two World Chalice Vanillas of your choosing from your deck. In this case, I'm just going to use Chosen because that's probably the best one to run now with no rank 4 that's worth running in the extra deck. And this is an Etelly target, so I mean, s things to consider. But anyway, you're going to link with Chosen into your first Imduk the World Chalice Dragon, and then you're going to immediately link with Imduk and Chosen by the World Chalice into your Orum the World Chalice Blade Master. Now, Imduk here is going to trigger its grave effect, special summoning your Lee the World Chalice Fairy from your hand in this specific zone, either in the center zone or the other zone that Orum points to. This is very important because. That's the only way you're going to be able to continue this combo sequence forward, is if you summon it in either this zone or this zone that Orum points to. So, keep that in mind. Uh, but your Lee's effect is going to trigger, and you're going to add World Legacy World Chalice from your deck to your hand off of the Search effect. And then from here, you're going to use Orum's effect to tribute the Lee on your field, and bring back Imduk the World Chalice Dragon in the, any of the zones that it points to. It doesn't matter which one it goes to. But with Imduk you're going to be granted the additional normal summon for a world chalice monster, so you're going to tribute the Imduk to normal summon your world legacy world chalice. Now, if you had another world chalice monster in your hand, you could easily trigger Imduk to summon it from your hand. Uh, it's, it's, very, it's very much something that goes into play in the expanded versions of this combo. But, regardless, uh, what we have access to now is that we need to trigger this world legacy world chalice, but we don't want to get rid of the Aurum because it's going to, you know, be very bad for resource management. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Lee's Graveyard Effect to send World Legacy World Chalice from your field to the grave to add Lee back to your hand. And then this will trigger World Legacy World Chalice and you're just going to hope that your opponent does not have Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. But so from here, your World Legacy World Chalice will trigger and you're going to summon World Chalice Guard Dragon and Chosen by the World Chalice out of your deck. Or just any World Chalice Vanilla, honestly. It actually doesn't even need to be a Vanilla. It could be literally any World Chalice name. It could be another Lee or whatever, but... I'm just summoning a vanilla here because it makes things a bit easier. Um, the only thing it can't be is it can't be, uh, they can't be matching. Um, so they can't be matching types and attributes because you're going to go straight into Eeb here. So they definitely just have to be different cards uh, that are uh, requirements to summon Eeb. So you'll summon Eeb here by linking with those two that you summoned. And then you're going to banish your World Chalice Guard Dragon here to summon back whatever vanilla you have into either of the zones that Eeb or Arm is pointing to. And then from there, you're going to link with the Chosen by the World Chalice in this instance into either Link Spider or another Imduk, because you've only used one Imduk in this combo sequence, so you can kind of get rid of, you know, just the second copy. Or if you're playing three of it in your extra deck, then you have plenty of it uh, to go around, essentially. Uh, but so from here, Orm has already used its effect, and resources are kind of starved at this point. Like, you don't really have a lot to work on as far as resources go. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be summoning your Ningirsu 
and getting your draw two in the most efficient way you could possibly you know do so. And that is going to be the link with Orum and the Imduk or the Link Spider, whatever Link one you summoned, into your Ningirsu in the point that uh, Ib is pointing to, in the zone Ib points to and opens up for you below your extra monster zone. So from here, either Ningirsu is going to chain link, chain link one, and then either Imduk or Orum here is going to trigger to summon the Lee the World Chalice Fairy from your hand, and then you are going to draw your two cards. So overall. You end with a plus three to card advantage. You opened with just Rescue Rabbit and just Lee to make this combo happen. So two cards, and you end with five. So that's a plus three, drawing two cards. Now, the key thing to note is that in most of these combo sequences um, that you have involving Rescue Rabbit is that most of the time you're adding Lee back to your hand and summoning it and putting it on field, which is actually really good because of the fact that you could draw into either Venus or draw into Transmodify and have a Transmodify target ready to go to summon Venus from your deck and just get three extra monsters for free in the form of the Mystical Shine Balls. So, like, all of these rabbit combos are actually really good for drawing into extender pieces because it's very easy for you to make Firewall Dragon from these points forward, as well as the cards that you draw could either be Brilliant Fusion, Venus, Transmodify, things like that, and those just fuel your Firewall Dragon play to be able to summon into your Venus and get your Shine Balls out of deck to extend the combo further. Uh, just things to note. But So I'm going to just not waste any more time and I'm going to reset the board real quick and go into the first of the expanded combo sequences for this, which is having Rabbit plus Lee plus any World Chalice monster in your hand to just change how the resources flow around and to show you what that looks like. Alright, so like I said, this expanded version of the combo is going to be a three card combo. It's going to be Rabbit plus Lee plus Chosen by the World Chalice in this instance. Now, it can be any World Chalice monster. It does have to be a World Chalice monster for this specific sequence, uh, but it is something that uh, can be, you know, it can be a variable because it can be either, you know, one of your vanillas, it can be World Legacy World Chalice, it can be Guard Dragon, it can be another Lee for, I mean, like, it literally doesn't matter. It just has to have World Chalice in its name. Because once you get your first Lee search, or your only Lee search rather, the first Lee you summon is going to search for cards that correct whatever you needed to be uh, in your hand and on your field. Alongside World Legacy, World Chalice, of course. But So the combo sequence goes, Normal Summon Rabbit and Banish It to summon your two Vanillas of Choice. Yet again, in this case, Chosens are going to be what I'm using. And then I'm going to link with this into Imduk. And this combo sequence is basically identical to the, uh, to the way that it worked the first time. Uh, you're going to link with Imduk and Chosen into Orum, the World Chalice Blade Master. Imduk will trigger, specialing the Lee out of your hand into this zone. And then you are going to search for uh, your World Legacy World Chalice. Then you're going to do the Orum effect again, destroying Lee, or tributing Lee, whatever it does. I can't remember if it tributes or destroys, and I don't want to pick up the card to read it. I just know it gets rid of it. <laughs> but um, So summon back your Imduk, and then you're going to tribute the Imduk for the World Legacy World Chalice here. And then the Imduk here will trigger to summon uh, Chosen from the uh, by the World Chalice from your hand, specifically into this zone, the zone that the Orm is pointing to. Uh, the reason that you're going to be doing this, specifically, is because you want it to be in that zone. You want it to be over here so that you could utilize it in a reasonable manner, I guess, is the way we could put it. But so, from here, you're going to use Lee to send the World Legacy World Chalice from your field to the graveyard again to add Lee to your hand. And then World Legacy World Chalice is going to trigger its effect. And basically, it doesn't matter what you summon from your deck as long as you are summoning two things with different types and attributes. And one of them is World Chalice Guard Dragon. So, that's all you need to worry about. So, from here, you're going to link with these two into your Eeb. And then, from here, you have the Guard Dragon's effect in Grave that you can utilize, which we will. So, we will banish Guard Dragon to special summon one of the Chosens back to any of these zones. And then you link away with the Chosen into your either Link Spider or Imduk, depending on you know what you want to do for uh, for resource management in your extra deck, of course. But so you'll summon Imduk, uh, in this case is what I'm going to summon. And then what you have access to is you have access into linking with Nin into uh, Ningirsu again with Orum and Imduk into the zone that Eeb is pointing to. So we'll put the Ningirsu right here. And then Ningirsu will be chain link 1, and either Imduk or Orum will be chain link 2 to summon the Lee from your hand, but it does not affect the draws that you are going to be getting. You are still going to be drawing 2 off Ningirsu because you properly set it up with your Chosen over here and your Ib here, so you have the Ningirsu being summoned in between them. 
but the reason that we specifically wanted Chosen over here. And so if you do put the Chosen in the wrong spot when you're summoning out of your hand off the first, uh, off the uh, Imduk effect, um, then you do have a one chance opportunity to correct the issue because you have the ability to summon another one off of World Chalice Guard Dragon, so you'd be able to summon the other one over here uh, and just leave it there and link away with the other one, the first one that was summoned. So you do have a shot to uh, correct it, essentially. Uh, but the reason that we put this here is because this combo is then easily expandable into Firewall Dragon uh, very easily and very efficiently, which also yields itself into being very good to expand upon the combo with either Transmodify on the Leaf or you know, Venus, being able to send Venus with Brilliant Fusion to you know then add back to your hand and summon with Firewall Dragon, but then also being able to have Venus be a hard-drawn card, so it gives you a lot of good capability into extension that you have access to. But it is still a plus three combo, because you start with three cards and you still end with six, um, so it is still a plus three. You don't gain any additional cards um, by adding the resource, but it does just give you a good better moldable board because you're in a situation where you have more of your resources on the field to go into things. So like, the reason that the Chosen is specifically over here is because you can just immediately go with the Lee and the Ningirsu into Firewall Dragon if you're continuing the combo sequence from here. Ningirsu can bring something out of your hand, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, and then your Chosen that is next to the Firewall Dragon can immediately go to the grave and Link into Link Spider. And the reason the Chosen being over here was important was because if you had any monsters in your hand like, you know, Venus or other World Chalice monsters, is that if the Chosen leaves the field and you have the Firewall Dragon here summoning the Link Spider, then it's going to be able to trigger your Firewall Dragon's effect, and their Firewall Dragon is co-linked with Link Spider and Eeb, meaning that you have a bunch of capabilities here already in terms of adding cards back. Something like Firewall Dragon can immediately add two cards back to your hand. It's very good for resource management, very good for play structuring, to keep the vanilla that you're summoning over here to link into Link Spider with, because it just it makes it very efficient for your Firewall Dragon to be triggered as many times as possible in the turn to continue your combo sequence going. So that's basically why this one is sort of significant, but I'm going to then show you one more expanded version of the combo sequence, which is Rabbit plus Lee plus either Dark Factory of Mass Production or World Legacy's Heart, because that also changes how the combo can be performed and finally gives you some extra cards. So let's reset this once again and go straight into that. Alright, so for the last expanded version of this combo that I'm going to be showing you for this video, like I said previously, it is going to be Rescue Rabbit plus Lee the World Chalice Fairy plus either Dark Factory of Mass Production or World Legacy's Heart. It doesn't matter which one it is, because they both yield you the exact same result. Now this one is going to give you three draws off Ninjirsu, so it's automatically better than the previous combo sequences. It gives you a plus four over a plus three. It lets you draw three cards, and that's very good for you. It also keeps your Lee loaded in your graveyard, so you don't have to utilize that effect early on either. So it's ultimately just better off for you resource-wise, and ultimately just gives you a better ending, you know, yield for your combo that you were doing. So, without further ado, you basically do the exact same shit. You go rabbit into Chosens uh, for this combo sequence, which is the vanilla I'm using for this cho uh, of choice for this combo sequence. And then you link into your Imduk with the Chosen, and then you link away these two into your Orum, the World Chalice Blade Master. Your Imduk will trigger its effect, special summoning Lee specifically to a zone that Orum points to. And then your Lee will trigger searching for World Legacy World Chalice. And then you are going to use your Orum's effect to get rid of the Lee here to bring back the Imduk so that you'll be able to normal summon your World Legacy World Chalice. Now here is the point at which you're going to use either your Dark Factory of Mass Production or your World Legacy's Heart. And either one is live at this point, and that's why I'm specifically showing it with World Legacy's Heart. If you had Dark Factory of Mass Production, you just get to add back Double Chosen. Easy. With World Legacy's Heart, it requires different names, so you get to add back Lee plus Chosen. So that is what will be done here. So we'll play this World Legacy's Heart and add back Lee plus Chosen, and that's going to give us some good stuff to work with. So, I'll tribute the Imduk for the additional normal summon it gives me for World, Cha uh, World Legacy World Chalice. And the Imduk's effect will trigger to special summon a card out of my hand, and I'm going to special summon the Lee. And it doesn't matter what zone it goes into, because it's immediately going to be linked away into an Eeb. So you'll link with Lee and World Legacy World Chalice into Eeb the World Chalice Priestess. And then the World Legacy World Chalice will trigger, summoning two cards out of your deck. So, what we're going to summon is we're going to summon World Chalice Guard Dragon, and Chosen by the World Chalice. 
Uh, so it doesn't really matter where you put them because even if you put them in wrong places, you're just going to make proxy dragon immediately anyway. So it's perfectly fine. But so what you do is you go into your proxy dragon here with the two that you summoned. And then you're going to use World Chalice Guard Dragon's Grave Effect to special summon back your vanilla, your chosen in this case. And you're going to link away with it into your Imduk, a second copy of Imduk. And then from here, it should be pretty obvious. You're going to link with Proxy Dragon and Imduk into your Ningirsu. Ningirsu will be Chain Link 1. Imduk will be Chain Link 2 to special summon the Chosen by the World Chalice out of your hand. And then you will draw three cards. So this is a plus four, ending you with seven cards. You end up drawing three cards additionally off Ningirsu. You also have the added benefit if World Legacy's Heart was the card you used that it gives you graveyard protection for certain aspects of uh, destruction and stuff like that. But the thing is, is, the Rescue Rabbit combos are really weird in how they interact with Lee and with Brilliant Fusion and stuff like that because you almost exclusively always have to use Aurum to bring back the Imduk at that primary first point because there's not a lot of like just extra cards you have existing on the field. And so these combo sequences are really strange and weird and it's something that's not really conventional because you almost always want to be conserving Orm to either bringing back Eeb or Ningirsu. Like, you never want to trade a one-for-one -one like that, because using Orm on a, like, a World Chalice Vanilla or whatever to bring back Eeb or Ningirsu is a huge, like, advantage gain for you, because you're trading away a monster that would have been used as a Link Material and be treated as one Link Material for a card that's being treated as two or three Link Materials. So, like, you're just, you're upgrading your resource pool. But just trading it out for a Link 1 is just not really something that you're trying to be doing on a regular basis, real, like, really. Like, it's, it's not really a reasonable thing to be doing. But in these combos, it becomes necessary, and it's something that's not conventional. So it's something that I wanted to show you guys. And so it's very moldable how you're able to go, ab go about this, essentially. And this combo string, as well, is really good for you because of the fact that you know, you draw three cards, you get a plus four. Again, you can go into Firewall Dragon and do certain plays. And also your Lee's Grave effect in this specific sequence is completely loaded. So it means that it's very easy for you to pinpoint trigger your Firewall Dragon's effect. And as I've said in the previous two combo sequences, having Lee be able to be added back to your hand and summoned to your board via, you know, getting rid of one of your Link monsters or whatever to summon it out of your hand, that's still huge because it means you're able to pinpoint trigger Firewall Dragons. It means if you drew Transmodify, you get to tribute the Lee to summon Venus out of your deck and get extra cards for free to continue molding upon the combo sequence. And then also you just have the ability to have other cards that you drew as extenders as well, like Brilliant Fusion and stuff like that, that complement the Firewall Dragon and complement your access into Venus to allow you to really extend upon this combo sequence. I really like the combos that play out without Venus in the early stages, because when you do get to the Ningirsu, while you may be having a subpar Ningirsu play in certain aspects, you do have so many more extenders that you can draw into out of your deck, and that ultimately gives you a better overall, like, moldable state from that point forward, because it allows you to do more without using your Firewall Dragon's effects to fuel the combos. So there's things to consider all around. But anyway, that is it for this video. As always, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, guys. I'd be curious about your opinions and all that sort of stuff. Drop a like if you want to see more World Chalice combo videos or more World Chalice videos in general. Subscribe if you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you enjoy my content and want to help contribute directly to making this channel continue to be a possible thing and continue to support my content, essentially, then Patreon is the best way to do so, as well as the reward tiers get you access into certain benefits for you as well, like monthly raffle giveaways and access into my private Discord server and stuff like that. So if you're interested, then definitely go check out the reward tiers over on Patreon. And it would be a huge help if you can contribute anything. Even something as small as a dollar a month is a fantastic way to show your support and how much you like the content that I'm making. But special thanks as always to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. New or old, you help out a ton, and you should know that by now, and you should know just how grateful I am. I tell you every video, and I mean, it's it's the truth. You have my eternal gratitude because you help keep this ship afloat, as I say. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video.